The Jamaican government is in a rush to secure the assets of Petrojam, the country's main oil refinery, as a directive from U.S. President Donald Trump is creating problems locally. In August last year, the United States imposed sanctions on Venezuela, creating implications for Jamaica's energy trade with the South American country. Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley gave Parliament an update this afternoon. TVJ's Andrew Chisholm explains. There's this saying, when the United States sneezes, Jamaica catches a cold. The latest example, U.S. President Donald Trump's Executive Order 13808, which imposes sanctions on Venezuela. It's a problem because the Venezuelan government owns Pedavesa, and Pedavesa owns 49% of Petrojam. Now, since correspondent banks in the United States do not want to breach the order from their president, transactions between Petrojam and Pedavesa are under great scrutiny. And various other loan agreements which were due and payable to the government of Venezuela were being withheld by the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank and others as well, Mr. Speaker. It's called due diligence, and it's slowing up business. So the Jamaican government has been speaking with Washington to find a diplomatic solution, insisting Petrojam is not fully owned or controlled by Venezuela. Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley indicated that the United States Office of Foreign Asset Control understands Jamaica's position and even published clarifications on the executive order. But the red tape continues. Delays in payments both to and from Petrojam have caused a level of unease amongst its suppliers. However, Mr. Speaker, continuous efforts are being made to cauterize the situation as we seek to avoid any form of disruption to our energy security. Dr. Wheatley adds that steps are being taken by the Jamaican government to secure the assets of Petrojam. The opposition had questions. Could the minister indicate what options the government of Jamaica is currently exploring? On the table now, we are looking at the option to repurchase or uh, uh, buy back our 49% uh, stake that um, Pedavesa owes in, um, in Petrojam. It's not yet clear if the government may directly fund the purchase, borrow the money, or seek a third-party investor. Could the minister indicate the extent of oil importation from Venezuela now? Over the last couple of months, as a matter of fact, over a year now, we have been receiving minimal or no, no crude product from Venezuela. As it is right now, we have... Um, adequate supply. Uh, we are still receiving products. In fact, we normally receive our products from um, Trinidad or we buy on the spot market, which is the, the normal course of operation. The Energy Minister pledged to update Parliament on the matter. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.